Here are the real haunted places in the Philippines. Number 7. Clark Air Base Hospital It was used during the World War II and the Vietnam War. It now lays abandoned inside the Clark Freeport Zone. Due to the numbers of soldiers that died in the hospital, the locals believe that the hospital is haunted. The neglected infrastructure provides some unusual acoustics, which added to the darkness of the inner rooms that can easily lead one to think of supernatural phenomena. Number 6. Lupiral House It was located in Baguio City, Philippines and was constructed in 1920. The house has been the silent witness to brutal killings, rape and violence. Number 5. Teacher's Camp It was located in Baguio City, Philippines. The cottages and rooms here have been reported to be haunted, and a lot of horror stories had spread through word of mouth. Footsteps late at night, faint wailing, and unusual shadows have been some of the common things that can be experienced here. Number 4. The Red House The Red House in Bulacan, Philippines is one of the most important sites for remembrance of the horrors committed by the Japanese against the hundreds of men who were murdered at the site and the hundreds of women were forced into slavery as a comfort women. Several of the girls were eight and nine years of age. Girls and women who fell back were stabbed to death using bayonets. One account says that a Japanese army at the Red House had a favorite slave who was raped by different Japanese soldiers 30 or more times every single day. The woman was later murdered through drowning after she had fought back. Wailing sounds, screams and temperature shifts, as well as the ghastly feeling of someone looking from behind. These are some of the most commonly shared experience. Number 3. The Balati Drive The Balati Drive is a two-lane and divided street and main thoroughfare in the New Manila District in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. The road is an undivided carriageway. In the past, the street was lined with large balati trees that darkened the area and made it appear frightening. Various legends and stories have circulated since the 1950s that the street was haunted. Most of the legends describe a white lady ghost who is supposedly hunting taxi drivers. According to her stories, the ghost is a teenage girl who was run over and killed by a taxi driver, then buried around a balati tree. One variation of the story claims a student in the University of the Philippines, just near from the area, was sexually assaulted and killed by a taxi driver, and her spirit roams the street looking for a murderer. Another version of the story claims that a female resident of one of the ancestral mansions lining Balati Drive was abused and killed by her own family, and the spirits hands the road, seeking help from the passing drivers. Number 2. The Ozone Disco the Ozone Disc of Fire in Quezon City, Philippines, broke out shortly before midnight at 11.35 p.m. on March 18, 1996, leaving at least 162 dead people. It is officially acknowledged as the worst fire in the Philippine history and among the 10 worst nightclub fires in the world. The cause of the fire was believed to be an electrical fire. Most of the victims were graduating students from the universities in the city. Due to the faulty club emergency exit, a lot of partygoers were trapped and died. Right now, Ozone Disco is already a closed and abandoned establishment. But there have been numerous reports of strange activity occurring during the night, such as faint disco lights, sounds and silhouettes of clubbers dancing through the late hours. Number 1. Manila Film Center the Manila Film Center is infamous for a construction accident that occurred on November 17, 1981, where more than 100 construction workers fell from the collapsed scaffolding and were buried in the cement. The construction workers were buried on purpose, because a search and rescue procedure, or even just a retrieval of the dead bodies will take a long time and will delay the construction of the building. Some individuals who have visited the building reported wailing sounds and scream of suffering men, believed to be from those who were buried alive. A woman who witnessed the event named Nana Benigno, a former public relations officer from the experimental cinema of the Philippines and the Manila International Film Festival, said, From a distance, I could see people in stretchers being carried out, frozen in a cement. 
When I got there, they were still digging out people and the cement was not completely hard. And there was a guy, half of his body was buried, he was alive. I don't know what it was, but to keep him awake, they kept him singing Christmas songs. I was watching this, she said in an interview. For fear that the accident would cause a scandal, there was a media blackout. Responders were only allowed access to the site nine hours after the incident. It was Betty Benitez who apparently gave the order to continue the construction despite of what had happened. A few months later, she died in a freak accident. Many alleged that it was the victims taking revenge. A medium who was sent to Manila Film Center supposedly claimed that the spirit said, Betty is with us. A lot of rituals were done in the area, exorcism rites, pagan rites, Catholic rites, and even Chinese rites. Officers were given amulets to ward off evil spirits.